Well, we um, nice performance tonight by our guys. Wow, shut out, piecing it together. Um, I'm really happy with the way a lot of guys threw tonight. Really happy. Boy, I thought um, Will Helmers did a nice job, and Javen Coleman really threw the ball with a lot of conviction tonight. Um, Alex Brady came in, did a really super job for us. A lot of guys really did a really nice job um, to shut them out. You know, that team's beaten Alabama, Ole Miss, Oklahoma State this year, all of them on the road. Uh, they just came off very emotional win yesterday with a walk-off win over Little Rock. Um, you know, so obviously, you know, it was a good, good victory for us. We did a lot of good things tonight, but you know, when obviously when you shut shut a team out, you got a pretty good chance to win. So that was uh, obviously the key for us. How many times did I use the word obviously in my first few sentences? A few too many times. So good win for us. Um, get on the bus tomorrow, head to Oxford, and be ready for a big series with the Ole Miss Rebels. Any questions? Paul, you had said coming to this, you know, you wanted to test a lot of those freshman arms. Did you, you thought they threw well? Did you find maybe some guys who could contribute this weekend uh, who maybe haven't as much before? Well, no question. I, I thought Javen Coleman was the, the real highlight. He, he threw the ball like he did against Louisiana Tech at the beginning of the year. He threw, he, his mound presence was great. He had great conviction with the way he threw, threw with great confidence, threw the ball hard, had some you know, good breaking balls. Throws like that, he can help us this weekend, no question about it. Um, I thought Will Helmers did a good job. He threw some nice breaking balls, uh, some good change-ups. And uh, the intention was only to have him go two innings, but his pitch count was so low, they were real aggressive against him because he was throwing so many strikes. He did a nice job. He, um, he will not be able to pitch in the middle of the week next week because he has a final exam on Tuesday. He's got an economics final while we're going to be playing grambling. So obviously he won't be able to pitch in the midweek. So there's no use saving him for the midweek game next week. So we'll definitely be using him on the weekend, probably on Saturday out of the bullpen or, uh, well, who knows, you know, we don't know, you know, what we'll be using in the first two games. So it's potentially he could be starting the game on Saturday. Um, um, Trying to think, uh, I thought Michael Fowler threw the ball pretty good tonight again. Um, let me refresh my memory here. Um, like I said, I thought Alex Brady came in and did a nice job. And um, Theo Mellis, you know, did, did some good stuff again. You know, Ty Floyd made things a little interesting there in the ninth inning with, with the three walks, but still got a couple of strikeouts. So, you know, certainly not given up on him, but you know, we seem to have a lot of trouble getting those last outs in the in the ninth inning, in the final inning. That's that's something we need to, you know, correct, obviously. There's that word obviously again, just for you, Glenn. Yeah, hey coach, you know, I know you mentioned that one of the, the big things with Will is that he's pitched so well in the midweek games, but you haven't really seen it translate yet to conference games. I mean, I'm just curious, you know, did was this the kind of what was maybe the crux of why maybe he's struggled a little bit in SEC play? And, um, you know, did you see some, I guess, improvements on, you know, what he could do, I guess, maybe this weekend? Yeah, well, I, I think uh, we made a concerted effort to use his breaking ball and change up a little bit more tonight. And, and I thought he did well with them. And I think that'll be something that'll be key for him. You can't live in the SEC with just a fastball unless you have a, an elite fastball and Will doesn't have an elite fastball. He's got a good fastball, you know, 89 to 91. And usually it's got pretty good command and decent life to it, but it's not enough velocity, hardly anybody, even the guys that throw really hard, you know, like somebody like Fontenot, even, you know, those mid nineties can't live fastball alone. So you've got to be able to mix your pitches. And that's the thing that Will's, you know, still working on developing. But tonight was a step in the right direction for him, I thought. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you all.
Um, just a refresher for everyone who has joined. It's going to be Will Helmers, Giovanni Giacomo, and um, Alex Malazzo, and Will's up right now. All right, y'all can start with questions for Will. Hey, Will, we were just, you know, talking with Coach, and he said, you know, one of the big reasons why maybe you're, you're pitching so well in the midweek games but hadn't really translated yet to the SEC play is you, your off-speed pitches. But he said that you looked a lot better with your off-speed pitches today. I guess just um, has that been a focus for you the last couple of weeks, trying to get a little bit more command of some of those off-speed pitches? Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely being a, a big focus these past couple of weeks, trying to make it sharper and bite a little more, uh, a little later in the zone. So it's definitely been a focus to kind of bump it up to the next level, I guess, to be able to get uh, get outs in the SEC. That's a big factor. So I think, yeah, AD and I and have been really focusing on that mm -hmm. and on that. So, What have you been doing with your time? With my time? I've been throwing, you know, throwing every day. Um, so you know, I haven't gotten too many opportunities on the weekends, but, you know, there's a reason for that. So, um, but, you know, I've been pitching well in the midweek games and I couldn't ask for anything better. So, you know, just keep grinding through it. Keep pitching. Coach says, you're, can do it. Yeah. Coach says you're going to get some action probably this weekend at some point. I guess just um, you, you've been limited in the SEC before. Is, is there a different mindset, um, you know, when you get your number called on the weekend? Uh, I don't think there's any different mindset. You know, pitching is all about getting outs. So that's that's all you can do. You, gotta, you know, you can't you can't be something that you're not on the mound. So, you know, just be who you are and I'm going to be who I am, whether it's in the SEC or a midweek game. You know, it's, it's still just getting outs. What was it like for y'all as a whole pitching staff? You know, we all wanted to get a lot of guys into this game to complete a shutout. Um, you know, what was that like for y'all tonight? Yeah, that's that's a great feeling uh, to be able to, to come in tonight against a really good hitting team. You know, a team that's beat SEC teams and, and throw a shutout. Um, so ULM's a great team, and, and to be able to 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 put them, keep them at a zero with with a lot of guys is a, is a huge thing going into this weekend. I think you guys were all in the zone tonight. I mean, you and uh, Javen, you know, eight combined pitches for balls. Everything else was strikes, and, and we're talking about you know close to fifty pitches. It's, it's pretty incredible what was working. Hey, you know, everything was working. I guess you know, locating the fastball. Uh, tonight, uh, you, know, you know, if you can locate your fastball in the outer third and the inner third, uh, you, good things are going to happen. So I think locating the fastball and be able, being able to back them off with the change up a little bit, um, you know, that's a big role. And be able to, and the biggest thing is being able to throw both for strikes, definitely. So I think that was huge. You, you seem to have a good head on your shoulder, I guess. What, what has been the, or what will be the key for you guys kind of turning the corner and and getting through this, obviously it's rough, but you got a lot of young guys that are getting valuable experience and learning, you know, about college baseball right now. Kind of not to be a representative of the team, but if you would, I guess kind of just tell us how you guys are navigating this. It's definitely a rough, rough patch, I'd say. But, you know, we're so close in so many games to, to, to flipping that switch and turning around. You know, sometimes it's one pitch or one at bat and, you know, and the, th those things are going to happen. Eventually, those things are going to happen, and, and I think, you know, we're starting to turn it around. We had a good series at Kentucky, and we should have won two here at South Carolina, but, you know, with South Carolina. And, you know, I think we're, we're so close in so many games that, you know, eventually the, it's going to start going our way, and we're going to, we're going to make that pitch, and we're going to hit that ball in that, in that hole and, and get that run, and, you know, you know things are just going to start rolling our way. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, guys. Is it me or does he look like Shay Dixon? Oh. Doesn't he look like Shay Dixon? Helmers? Yeah. Yeah, he does. Mm, you guys are both doing this. Is it Chaston or Chaston? Freaks me out with your picture up there every time. I always think he's perpetually grinning at me. Chaston.
Did Paul talk about the geo to lead off? What are you beat writers doing, huh? Gosh. We were curious about pitching. All right, fine, be that way. All right, y'all can start with questions for Alex. Alex, for starters, you this was you got that you know single to kind of get things started. It was your first RBI since like February. How did it feel to drive in a run for the first time in quite a while? Uh, yeah, it felt pretty good. To, uh, see all the hard work pay off, and uh, feels good anytime you can help the team get some runs on the board. For you, I guess, just what has been some of the things that you're focusing on? Obviously, you know, the, the, the offense, I guess, has been something that, you know, because you know, they're, they're kind of going in between you and Hayden right now, a catcher. Just, I mean, what, what are you working on with Eddie right now at the plate to try to just, I guess, get a little bit more consistency uh, from, from that, at that catcher spot? Yeah, uh, I've really been focusing on staying on balls a lot better and really uh, getting balls backside a lot better. And, uh, at the end of the day, swinging at pitches I can handle, not pitches outside of the zone, you know. Um, I think the biggest thing you can work with mechanics all you want, but when you're not swinging your pitches in the zone, the pitches you can handle, and you're missing pitches that uh, you are looking for, it's pretty tough to hit. Alex, y'all, you know, obviously used a ton of pitchers in this game, trying to kind of find someone who can help this weekend against Ole Miss. How did, I mean, you know, you caught – most of them. How do you think that that group did today? A lot of guys hadn't pitched very much. Yeah, it was uh, it was exciting to see uh, a lot of guys pitch tonight. You know, a lot of them hadn't been on the mound in a while, and it was uh, it was great to see them go out there and compete and fill up the zone. And at the end of the day, when uh, there's no runs on the board for other teams, that that be doing something right. So uh, it was uh, it was good to see them go out there and compete and fill up the zone for a lot of. Paul mentioned with Javen Coleman that he pitches pretty well when he just like has a conviction. Do you, is there sort of a noticeable difference catching when, you know, he has that conviction like he did against Louisiana Tech and like he did tonight versus when it's not quite there? Yeah, I mean, Javen can be, uh, can be very good when he's doing that. And uh, I think he saw that tonight. Uh, he went out there and he threw the crap off the ball. And I think, uh, I think Javen's best when he's doing that. And I think he'd be, very good pitcher for us if he continues to run. All right. Another one of the pitchers, uh, you know, they've been working a lot with Will on his breaking balls. Did you notice an improvement in that area tonight? Yeah, so uh, I was I was with Will this week catching him in pins with AD, and uh, we were working on his uh, breaking ball, and I thought uh, in warm-ups I, I told AD, I was like, man, that's it right there. And uh, he went out there and brought it to the game. He brought it from the bullpen to the game. And uh, that was probably the best I've seen Will as far as all speed goes. It also, one, this is y'all. Y'all are still undefeated in midweek games this season. Why do y'all think you've had so much success in these sorts of games and just not quite been able to translate it into the weekend against the SEC teams? And at the end of the day, uh, there's a, you're playing a lot of tough teams, and uh, I think uh, we've been able to capitalize in our midweek games. You know, runners in scoring position, playing playing good defense, pitchers are throwing well in these midweek games. And at the end of the day, uh, you're playing some SEC teams. When, when you're not capitalizing on some of the opportunities or making some mistakes out there, it's tough to win. More questions? Thank you. Yeah, oh. uh, Alex, just uh, the idea of going to Old Miss this weekend, and, and you know, again, you guys now have a taste of what SEC play is like. How much can you take what you guys are kind of doing and have done, and maybe finish those last steps to to stay in games and, and be competitive? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, when you're uh, I'm not sure what Ole Miss is ranked, but I know they're they're always a really good team. And uh, 
I mean, you just got to go up there. And uh, I think the biggest thing for us is playing a faceless opponent, no matter who we're playing, whether it's ULM or Ole Miss, you, you got to go out there and compete. And, you know, uh, we're not going to back down from anybody. And I think if we go out there and play the way we can play, and, uh, I, think, I think we can win some ball games. Thanks, bud. Thank you all. Ashley, could you have Geo sit maybe a little bit closer to the mic? I think Alex was cutting a little bit in and out on us throughout the interview. All right, y'all can start with questions for Geo. And if the mic messes up, just say something. Hey, Geo, can you scoot any closer in? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. Well, I guess, how did it feel, man? I mean, we'll start with the obvious one, right? Kind of get back in there, get into the flow, and, and really contribute tonight. Oh, felt, felt really good. My leg is, honestly, I feel really amazing right now. Um, and, you know, practice yesterday was flying around with Gavin. And we were diving for balls. And I just think my leg is back where it needs to be, and I'm feeling like I'm, I'm where I need to be. I'm glad that I was able to help him out there. Having a rough time hearing you, man. I'm sure it's nothing you're doing, but I don't know. Can you hear me doing. now? Yeah, maybe just really get on top of that thing. I don't know. Um, feeling, can you hear me now? Yeah, I was going to say, you don't have to hold it right up in front of your mouth. I mean, you can just, you're fine. Yep. Yeah. Um, felt a lot better. I was able to just kind of stride it out yesterday and kind of push it a little bit more than I have been. And it's feeling like, it's a hundred more than a hundred percent. It hasn't felt better, and I was glad that I was able to help the team out today and kind of push my legs a little bit and feel great. I keep waiting for Wilson to jump in here. You coming, Will? <laughs> I can. I I can do that. Uh, gee, I mean, you um. When you're when you are feeling that way, does that change what you're able to do offensively? I mean, yeah, I think you had like multiple infield singles, a couple of bunts and stuff. Uh, does that just sort of, you know, open up a new another facet of your game? Yeah, I think that's actually like a big part of my game. Um, being able to put the pressure on the defense, you know, even on like miss hits or if I don't barrel the ball, just putting the ball in play can definitely help me out because I I know my speed will make a difference and it definitely puts pressure on the defense. You've been with this team long enough to kind of see what coach was trying to do tonight with all the pitching, I guess, and, and find some answers here going down the stretch, I guess. As a player, take us through how do you guys stay, in, um, you know, upbeat and positive, kind of knowing that, like, maybe things haven't gone the way you wanted them to so far, but that doesn't mean they have to continue that way, I guess. How do you approach, you know, the, the second half of this season that you're about to get on, get into? Um. You know, it's, it's hard, you know, when your team isn't kind of where they want to be and you're losing every game and close games and stuff like that. It, it gets tough. But, you know, one thing about this team is we get a lot of grit and we get a lot of guys that love this game and love to play. And, you know, I wouldn't want to be around anyone else. And I'm really excited for what the future holds. And especially this weekend, I know that we're going to come out. We're going to lay it all on the line. And you yourself have been kind of, not say a project guy, but you're, you're a guy that's, you know, a lot of belief has been placed in and, and you're, been, you know, you're kind of paying it off now, I guess, now that you're healthy, especially, I mean, do you understand the, the dues, you know, for lack of a better word that these guys are paying right now to kind of figure it out and, and develop as the season goes along? Um, yeah. I mean, I think it's a big part of the game, you know, development is one of the things you kind of come to school for and it's kind of one thing you train before season and it's kind of hard to kind of come in the middle of a season when you haven't played very much and be able to produce and just kind of go right out of the gate. But I think that's one thing our guys do really well in practice and off the field is just put in that work and dedication and just be prepared mentally for when the time comes. So I'm excited for what we can do. Gio, y'all are 
undefeated in midweek games this year now. Um, I think like what I don't remember the exact record, but why do you think y'all have had so much success uh, in these midweek games? Um, I think we're just putting a lot of pressure on winning these midweek games. We try to value the importance of it, especially since these weekends versus these great SEC teams have been so tough. I think that it's important to win these midweek games. You know, they're not just games we can I think we can be lackadaisical or kind of push aside. They're just as important as every other game. So, you know, we take it very seriously. Yeah. Mike's going out again. See, I know you haven't moved it. I don't know what the deal is, man. It's every every, every other game or so. Cool. Good job, bud. Cool. Thank you, guys. Ash, are we done with the players? Yes, that is all for tonight. Thank you. Can you unplug the mic? I'm guessing it's a USB mic, huh? Yes. I'm just wondering if you did it without the without the actual mic, would it just be even you know?